I guess upgrade the laboratory right now. Let's research uh, that. Radar requires uranium, so no. That requires cobalt. You know what? I might as well just research this and this for the time Selecting being. Technologies for development. Now, did I research anything that over here? Um, no, not really. So, never mind. We can actually upgrade our storages here. So I'll just do that. Like, I got plenty of resources at this point, so I might as well just improve this. And put it like that. And then I also have some storage over here that I should upgrade. I probably should deal with this, shouldn't I? Or, you know what? Hang on, let me... Alien... Wait, alien research? Oh, right, I need to build the laboratory. And this needs water. I need a water source. This did not happen in survival. So, uh... Probably gonna have to get it from the mud and then do something else with it. So there's a lot of water in this area, so maybe I can just set it up here. Warning. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. Probably should you take should care of that soon, but let me deal with this first. Oh. I was looking at the mini map, then I turn on the map. So, the map here reveals stuff that the minimap doesn't. It just goes up to the edge here. Yeah, and the larger map extends just a little bit further out. Okay, so this was here the entire time in these corners. I just didn't see it on the minimap. Okay. Oh, I need to set up a TP location over here. Because I might need to be here. Alright, so what do we do? I'm going to start securing this area over here. Or maybe we can like do it over here. Or... You know, have it closer to the HQ, just so it's much more defended. Well, first, I need... Okay, we're gonna extract mud, turn it into, put it into the water filtering plant, and then turn that water. Warning. A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Okay, so it takes a hundred mud per second. Stop shaking, damn it. There we go. Uh, I think we can do it like that. Like, I don't think the pipes have a limit to their throughput. What does it go here? And then water. Uh, where are you? So we can only have like one of these buildings for the time being. Alien research laboratory construction in progress. Fantastic! I can't wait for it to be built. Let's just do it like this. Open up a whole new range of possibilities for us. 
If I had a base like that on Orion, I wouldn't have lost my arm back then. How did that happen? I got careless while searching for Anorex crystals. I found a fascinating growth anomaly that was transforming all of its surroundings. I've never seen anything like that, so I had to take a sample. I was shielded inside a recon suit, but when I grabbed the crystal with my hand, it just went through it. My entire arm was infected. Why didn't you use a bioscanner to take the sample? They only work in conjunction with a lab like this. I didn't have a base on Orion or a mech suit to build one. I am sorry to hear that, Ashley, and I am glad that we got there together. I will not allow something like that to happen to you. Okay, let's not get too emotional about that. If you look at it from a different perspective, I got an enhanced biomechanical arm replacement and I still got the sample. Okay, we're gonna push up here. We got three more ironium deposits here. Oh, this guy. No. Oh, shit. Completely forgot about that. I was just focusing on that liz lizard guy that does that. Warning: hostile creatures are coming from. Probably should nest. take out we that guy. And clear it out. Or wait a minute. There's something over here that is not being powered. So I got the lab up. I think it's time to take out that large creature. And we got some more carbonium here, so there's no shortage of deposits at this point in time. Let's check this out. And is that it? It was just this radar? Oh, let's get rid of this now. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Let's go to the east. Alien research laboratory construction finished. Oh, they we didn't upgrade these. Clean water to keep it operational. You can produce clean water by placing a pump in any type of liquid and delivering it to a water filtering plant for processing. Connect the output from the water filtering plant to the alien research laboratory using pipes. Finally, the alien research lab is operational. We can start gathering research samples and scanning the local flora and fauna. We can use the bioscanner to begin collecting samples without destroying the environment. It's the safest and most efficient way to advance our research. This is so exciting! We can finally start working on the thing that we came here to do. Ashley, don't forget that our primary objective is to establish a two-way portal back to Earth to enable human colonization of Galatea 37. That's true, but we also have to study this planet to ensure that it is safe for colonization and to minimize the damage done to the local ecosystem by future colonists. Minimizing damage to the local ecosystem is listed at the end of the official list of priorities of this mission. I'm the only human on this planet. I can set my own list of priorities. The planetary geomapping procedure is in progress. Calculating coordinates for possible rift jump locations. The process will soon be completed. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a tiny the outpost here just so I can power a radar. A very useful information about the planet and found traces of rare elements in multiple locations around the globe. One of Galatea's continents appears to be a barren desert that has been scorched by intense radiation and very intense solar activity. These harsh conditions are most probably caused by the high condensation of radioactive elements like uranium or thorium. Our scans have located a safe rift jump location for an initial scouting mission. We should go there and gaining access to uranium would allow us to construct nuclear power plants and some heavy weaponry. This should make surviving on Galatea much easier. This is 
under the second interesting paradigm is densely covered by acidic clouds of unknown origin spectral analysis detected traces of palladium scattered throughout this geographical zone i have marked a safe rift jump location for initial reconnaissance on the orbital scanner interface titanium has been detected in a large zone of intense volcanic activity the orbital scanner has been providing some strange readings from this area, with temperatures ranging from 800 to 100 Kelvin. On top of that, it is entirely impossible to get any sensible magnetic field readings from this area. We were able to find a safe rift jump location within the volcanic zone. However, you should expect extreme environmental conditions. All of these locations contain extreme environmental hazards and unknown species of creatures. We should upgrade our equipment as much as we can before venturing out into these new biomes. Okay, this so... Is extremely hostile. It can be dangerous to our base. Warning. What? A hostile group of creatures is heading towards our base. Prepare for an incoming attack. Threat neutralized. Kill it before it kills us. We'll finish researching it in the lab. I wonder what made it so aggressive. Hang Maybe on. We can learn something important after researching it in a lab. So they're about to attack. Like, I just got, like, so much dialogue in there that I don't really know what's going on. But basically, they were talking about the different biomes that had all the resources that I need. Alright, so these guys are now attacking. has been destroyed one of our portals has been destroyed oh there is a breach in our wall oh wow there was another one over here on the southeast corner they're just all massing this area over here just went out from my outpost you know what i'm just gonna ignore it i think we get in order this entire thing so at this point New blueprints are available for crafting. New buildings Can I are upgrade my HQ? One of our walls has been destroyed. Oh shit. Probably should take this. There's a lot of those big guys here. Like, if a town towers can handle it, but I have to, like, rebuild all of these walls. Now, I do have level 2 walls, but they're pretty much triple the price when I give double the... HP, so maybe I'll just do this. Did I upgrade you guys? Oh, yeah, you're level twos. Okay, so where did I put alien research? It's like I need to figure out where I put everything. Okay, that's HQ. Uh, was it over here? Yeah, there's my alien research. Research completed. Okay, so alien research pretty much has its own queue. Research station. All right, let's research that. Actually, it doesn't have its own queue. It's on the same queue. We just need a different building in order to research stuff. Now, this only takes 10 water per second, and this produces the like up. A 50 a second, I believe. 
Yeah, 50 is second. So, I think we can upgrade this. It uses more energy, really but same amount of water. And one of the things I should probably do is expand my solar energy. Like I probably should use this area down here for this. Except we have these formations over here pretty much blocking my way. So there's not a whole lot I can do. Alright, so... Let's just expand solar at this point. Again, we have lots of space for this, so try to take advantage of it as much as possible. And you were misplaced. Okay, there we go. So we got plenty of power for pretty much everything. Uh, I think it's time to expand just a little bit more our stuff over here. The weather has calmed down. The storm is over. Since we do have these spots secured, might as well get more carbonium. We only have 20 production here. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New oh, buildings hi are there. available for construction. All right, so we're gonna mine this. Oh, I should also remember I have the synthesizers now, so probably should get like a couple of those going on. Uh, where are you? Okay, maybe not right there. Can't really reach that last tile there. So it's gonna have to be like this. Uh, what was I doing? Are you attacking my base? Okay, so we're gonna get a little bit of defense here. Like very light defense here. I think this should be good enough. There we go. So we'll just take that for now. Just so we can get that carbonium production or ironium production, whatever. Let's get that up. Now we can continue upgrading this. Let's get another attack going. It's coming from the coming from the east here. We have some time before the attack. Let's strengthen our defenses.
Let's try to fit more these things here. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, I should also start putting some portals over here just in case. And maybe like what well, like one turret here. Okay, that should be it. Let's go take this now. Alright, maybe we can secure that last Carbonium node before the attack. Let's do this. Oh, wait, there's something over here. Are they going to attack over here? Wait, wait a minute. You woke up. You just appeared on the mini map. I got to take you out now. Ow. Base is under attack. Yeah, this is happening. Just in case, probably should, like, check this out. That is a lot of artillery. Oh, ow! A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Use your orbital scanner interface to rift jump to distant locations. Probably should do that. Base is under attack. Well, let me upgrade my facilities first, and then we'll do that. Because it's probably going to use, like, the research stuff over here. Uh, in order to pretty much fuel my, like, expeditions to other places. This will buy some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. Okay, let's go back to HQ. Now, that should give me another communications hub. Like, I need space here. Let's get rid of this. At this point, why don't I just upgrade all of these? Then our solar should be coming back now. Let's see what we got. Okay, it looks like we're gonna need more power. Okay, what was all of this? Oh, this was storage. This over here is storage. Where was I building my solar panels? Is it down here? Yeah, okay. So... Let's just go ahead and get this done. Now, was there a connection, like, over here? Did I upgrade this? No, I didn't. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, we need to put it like a connection here.
Okay, that should be good enough. Uh, why is there water? Oh. Completely forgot to connect this. It's kind of important. All right. How do we use the orbital scanner? Let's go to the orbital scanner. I think we need to like... Oh, okay. So it's from this screen here. So our headquarters is right here. Radioactive desert. Um, what do we need? We need uranium, palladium. Uh, palladium. Excuse me. And titanium. Okay, so we're pretty much going to be funding our entire expedition from our headquarters. Uh, Tanazanite, Rhodonite, Ferdonite. All right, so let's go to the radioactive desert. Now, if I remember correctly from playing uh, survival, this has a lot of sunlight, so we're going to be relying heavily on solar panels. So we'll go here first. Alright, so we are continuing this campaign. We are going to a new biome. Played this many times before in survival, but let's see what happens in the campaign. Rift jump successful. Environmental scanning in progress. Miniature the version of the headquarters. This area is very high. It would kill most living organisms from Earth. Standard floor. My standard what? radiation shielding can withstand these levels of exposure without any damage. However. If the background radiation is so high in this area, then we can expect much more intense sources of gamma particles. These could pose a serious threat. The protective atmosphere is also very thin in this area. UV radiation from the sun could pose a real threat. No wonder this area looks like a desert. We'll have to improve environmental shielding on our structures before setting up a larger outpost in this area. Ashley. We should gather more data about this area. We can later use the readings from my sensors to develop improved radiation and UV shielding for both my armor and our structures. Okay, let's try to scout as much area as possible to feed your sensors with enough data. Okay, so in progress. we don't have the foundations for the quicksand here. Me to reconstruct whenever I am destroyed. And it has a permanent rift station that we can rift jump to at any time. It will also allow us to automatically transfer all of the resources that are mined in this location back to our HQ, even if we're not present in this location. We can construct a network of such outposts around the planet to build up our economy. It's the only way to acquire enough resources to construct the rift station and all of its components. Be mindful of where we place these buildings, though. Our headquarters have a capacity limit of how many outposts we can support at once. So whenever there is no use for an outpost, we should deconstruct it and recycle the resources that were used to build it. Yeah, so it's playing a lot differently than in survival. So I guess we're also going to be dismantling these outposts once we no longer need them. 